look at this place. It's picture perfect. The postcard was practically invented for a place like Lunenburg. And so it was probably only a matter of time before the folks at Hallmark came calling to make a Christmas movie here. In the film, a big city pilot leaves Los Angeles on a charter flight to Europe, but bad weather and high winds force her to make an emergency landing in a little place called Christmas Island. Once there, she's forced to slow down and get used to small town life, where she falls head over heels in love with her new tour guide. So beautiful. Classic Hallmark. Next stop on the Christmas Island Christmas tour. And for the next stop on my Christmas Island Christmas tour, a visit to the production designer of the film, Bill Fleming. When the producers were looking around for a place to do the Christmas Island movie, they wanted a magical location that could be decorated to be very richly celebrating Christmas, a sort of fictionalized version of Christmas Island. So why not go to the actual Christmas Island? You know, the one in Cape Breton, where people have sent packages to the local post office for that coveted Christmas Island stamp for years? Well, with fewer than 300 residents, and also not quite an island anyways, Hallmark needed someplace busier. I think the thing about the Hallmark Christmas movies is that they're a, they're a fantasy, in a way. They're, they're, um, so when you want to do Christmas, you want to make it more Christmassy than, than even reality. For instance, we uh, put up this large uh, lobster trap Christmas tree, which was integral in the story, but we brought in maybe about 40 or 50 Christmas trees to line the background and cover them with lights and, and things, you know, decorations. And it's escape. It's escapism television and, uh, and, uh, and romantic television. One of the biggest challenges of shooting this film was doing it in the peak of summer. There were tourists everywhere in shorts and t-shirts, and there wasn't a speck of snow in sight. So how'd they do it? It's hilarious because you're putting up Christmas trees and fake snow, and the uh, fake snow is, uh, you know, you know, laying it out and people are, what, what, what are you doing? Why are you, you know, are we here in the wrong month or something? And so, no, this is for a, a TV movie. Oh, is it for a Hallmark movie? We watch those all the time. Or somebody else said, my wife makes me watch those. Another one said, do they kiss in the end? And I said, I can't give it away, but you won't be disappointed. The early word from the folks at Hallmark has been positive, and the film is already a certified hit, reportedly netting 2.6 million viewers on its first airing in the United States. You know, after spending the day in Christmas Island, uh, I can see the appeal. People will stop to have a chat with you. The scenery is gorgeous, and it's an easy place to fall in love. I think I'll leave the rat race of big city living behind and hang my hat here instead, where it's Christmas every day. Andrew Sampson, CBC News, Lunenburg.